if we have a, uh, a headland management sequence created, I can get the uh, tractor to automatically trigger that sequence for me when it crosses my uh, internal uh, headland. So to set this up, is we come into our settings, is I come into my headland, again, I can, uh, if I wanted to, I could put in a slightly bigger headland uh, on there, but then it's about populating these two, uh, these two figures. Now I could even manually enter those figures in and get the system just to give me an, an, an audible uh, beep as to when to press my uh, a go or end button, or if I've got the auto TI feature uh, unlocked as part of the uh, TI headland, is I can activate these uh, auto uh, offset calculation uh, flags, and so then when I uh, I start to uh, start to drive, is uh, as I'm approaching when I want to uh, to drop my uh, my implement down, is I can press my go button, and it will uh, save that uh, that particular uh, point. Get to the other end of the field. I'll hit my uh, my end button, and then that will memorise uh, where he wants to uh, to lift up the uh, the implement. So now I can, I've memorised those positions. I get this auto button come up on the screen. I can uh, press down confirm. I want to use the uh, features automatically. And I can see these two uh, two flag markers then appearing on the uh, on the tractor. If I engage onto the uh, onto the way line, then is uh, it'll pick up on that uh, on that first trigger. We'll uh, set my uh, set my implement into uh, into work. And then as I'm approaching the uh, the end of the uh, the run, it will automatically uh, lift up my implement. So it just means then that I've always got consistent ins and outs across the uh, across the field. I'm not having to uh, to double back on that uh, on that last headland run say just to get that bit that uh, that I've missed.